Hi, in this lesson we will learn how to query a data from a website directly inside Google Sheet. If I go to Amazon, if I pick any product and take the product ID, which is usually after the database of the product in the URL, if I copy this product ID in my Google Sheet, I can query some data from the original website, like the price, and in this sheet I can find more details about the product so this product price was 81 but now it is a discounted price and free retail if I choose another product to take the product ID in most cases it will work let's try that's working so actually this lesson is not about Amazon. This lesson is about how to query a data in Google Sheet. I'm going to start a new sheet using sheets.new. Let's understand how to use import HTML to refer to a part of a data in a website. Let's start from Wikipedia. If I search for United States, here we have one table and here we down we can find another table if I take the URL if I copy the URL in the new sheet using import HTML I have to paste the URL inside to code I need to refer to the table by default, it will return the first table, which starts with the flag, if you still remember this table. But I don't need this table, I need the other table, this one. So this one is supposed to be table number two. So in the same formula, I'm going to add comma two, and now I refer to this part of the web page. So we use import HTML to refer to a table or a list inside a web page. When I check Amazon, uh, I notice that they have exactly the same URL uh, if you refer to a product. If you refer to any product, in most cases, you can refer directly to the product using db product id so this url is exactly the same with almost all product in amazon the only change part is the product id so if i copy this one just Let's have it in a new sheet. Without the product ID. If I have the product ID in another cell. If I concat the base URL with A2 which is the product ID I will get the exactly same URL if I import HTML using A3 which is the concatenate between the base and the product if I refer to the first table I will find the first table is a description. Let's try another broad. Yeah, not working, but instead of table one, I'm going to refer to table two. Now I find the price, the exact price for the product, and the original price, the current price. Let's change the product, and if I hover here, I can see a detail about the product. Uh, let's change another product. So, 
uh, it's not all product in Amazon follow the same rules but almost all so let's get this printer product ID I believe this this one has a different format yeah here is the price and and so on let's go home to Amazon um, After the DB, I can find the product. Okay, right now the price is not in table two. Let's try table one. Oh, so price can be in table one or table two in most cases. Okay, now we can use import HTML referring to table 1 or table 2 to find the price uh, let's refer to the whole table of data and instead of using import HTML in a new sheet I'm going to use import XML XML refer to a part of the page using XML tags so I'm going to use the exact same URL Sorry, no need for the tool code. Two slash table two slash. Other slash. Now I can find more details about the product. Let's refer to another product. Here the price using table one and here we find more details using import XML so you can use import HTML and import XML to query part of a website directly inside your Google sheet